Hello everyone, my name is Kumar and you are watching Kumar Programming. In this video, we are going to talk about different type of Chai assertion styles. Okay. In previous video, we have covered about basic configuration as well as we did require dependency installation and we had created our first test shoot and our test cases and we have executed them. Now let's talk about different type of Chai assertion styles. So mainly we have three type of Chai assertion style, should, expect and assert. Now, if you go to the official website, chaijs.com, here you can see Chai has several interfaces that allow the developer to choose the most comfortable. The chain capable BDD style provide an expressive language and readable style, while the TD assert style provide a more classical feel. What does it mean? So in Chai, basically we have three type of assertion style, should, expect and assert. The should and expects are BDD, behavior driven development and assert is a TDD style. Okay, that is a test driven development. So now you would be thinking about what is the difference between BDD and TDD, right? So mainly in BDD, users are writing the test cases at a very high level and those test cases are going to be failed because we don't have the actual functionality. But in case of TDD, we are going to write the functionality and test them. So we have to pass our test cases in our TDD approach. However, you can use any one of them, whichever you feel more comfortable. All three of them more or less likely same. Only the differences we have in their syntax. Personally, I feel more comfortable in expect. Nevertheless, we are going to see what are the syntactical differences we have in all of them. Okay, and we will see how we can write them. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio. So in our previous video, we have already learned about how to write our test suite and test cases and then how we can execute them and how we can see the code coverage report as well as we have learned about 3a pattern arrange act and assert okay so in this assert section we can write our assertion in all three style okay should expect our assert so now we will create a separate test file here and that we will give name as a assert style dot dot ts since all of our test cases file should have the extension as a dot spec okay and dot ts because we are writing our test cases in typescript now first of all what we have to write we have to create our test shoot okay so here i am going to write describe and in this describe i am going to give the description as assert style and the second parameter would be the function we can write like this now in my script 6 we can replace this we can just write with the parenthesis and fat arrow function now here inside our test shoot we are required to writing our test case by using it method okay and here i am going to give the description for this test case and here i'll give expect assertion style okay and here similarly we have to write a fat arrow function now inside this our test case we know we are using 3a pattern arrange act and assert okay arrange act assert so in the arrange section, I'm just going to create a variable as a const name would be type of string and the value would be Kumar. Okay. I'll take a number variable as well. Here I'll write const age would be type of number that would be equal to 30. Okay. So I'm just arranging the different type of data. So I can show you how we can write assertion for different type of data. Okay. Now I'll take an object type of data. So const object data type of object and here i'll assign a object as name kumar and second property would be age 30 okay now i'll take another data type as array const array data type of array and this array would be type of number now here i will have a 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay here we will take one more data type as a const boolean so I'll take here as a bool data type of boolean and I'll pass the value as a true. Okay. Now we have taken a string number object and array of number and then boolean. So these all are the most common data type that is being used. Now further we are going to write the assertion for all these data type. Okay. Now here we are not writing anything in act because we are focusing on the assert part. So I'm going to use expect first of all. So here let me make it as a capital expect. So let's first write for the string. Okay. If you see the string variable, what we can check, right? We can check if this name is having value. Okay. This name 
variable is, is a type of a string and this is not a undefined it's having some value right these things that we can check okay so now let's see what we will write here expect right this is the syntax expect what we are expecting name okay to be okay to be okay that's it here expect needs to be imported from chai so we will import it so if you see uh, this is auto imported from chai if you are writing this expect name to be okay it means name is having some value it's not undefined or it's not null okay now second thing we can check if name is equal to kumar or not okay so expect name dot to dot b dot equal kumar okay that's it and the third thing we can check if this name variable is type of string or not okay so expect name dot to dot b a string okay that's it okay so here i'm just considering the positive cases like to be equal to kumar and if you want to consider the negative test cases also so here we can just write to dot not b equal to kumar okay so what we can expect here two dot not that's it and it should not be equal to kumar one so kumar value is not equal to kumar one that's true okay so this case will be passed if you have to write the negative conditions just you can add not right after the two okay so here i'm not adding the negative condition so you can understand it easily now we will uh, consider for the number so let's go for the number here here age to be okay and age to be equal to 30 right and age to be equal to number okay similarly we can write for the object data so let me proceed with the object here it would be number object here object data so first of all we have to check if object is okay or not if it's undefined or null or not okay so it's okay because we are having value over here now second thing we can check is object to be a type of object okay so we will move it here and it would be a type of object okay now third thing if you see here we have uh, this object is having property name and age okay so we can check if this object is having property name and name and age or not okay so here we can just write this object to have okay dot to dot have here we have own property also that we can use however we are going to use have okay so have dot property okay and the property name is name and here in our expect style we can do the chaining also so here we will use dot equal we will we are going to check two things if this object is having name property or not and if it is equal to kumar okay equal kumar similarly we can do for our age as well okay age and equal to 30 right so this is the way that we have to write the assertion for our object now we will see how to write the assert for our array okay right. similarly we are going to write for the array as well so i'll just copy paste here control a control k f we will format it here now let's remove the terminal for now so this is for array and here we have array data okay so here we are checking if array is not undefined it's okay okay now second thing we are going to check if array is array array dot to have dot length of three okay since here we have array length is three okay so here we can check array length is three and what else we can check if it's include the value one two three okay so here we can do the chaining also or we can write in a separate line dot that this array dot include okay so if it include you can write you can check any any of the value one two three so i'm going to write one two here and we can check if this array data is type of array okay so here array data is a type of to be a array okay to be a array that's it and if you want to check the negative scenario here so this we can say this to not have okay simply we have to use not to not have length of four as well as that does not include so here we can say that does not 
that does not include here we can say 5 okay because 5 is not here so this is the way that we have to write the negative scenario okay now finally we will cover our boolean data type so let me just copy this here boolean and i'll take this bool data to be okay so this bool is not undefined okay now this bool data is to be a boolean to be a boolean right and this bool data should be having value as a true okay so here we can check bool data to be true so these all are very common assertion that we are writing for our this common data type okay now further we are going to check with other assertion style that it should but first of all let's see if everything is working as expected so let's open the terminal control j now let's run this test yep so now if you see here expect assertion style is passed so whatever expect that we have written over here everything is being passed we can write as many as expect over here okay so now i'll write the test cases for should style so i'll just copy it i'll go quickly with the should so here here i'll write should assertion style i'll keep all these variables same over here the only difference here we have in should is instead of expect name we have to write name dot should should be here we are not going to use to okay name dot should be okay that's it so we will replace all these things our expect name should be equal to kumar name should be type of string okay now similarly we will do for the number as well so here we will write age to be age dot should be okay that's it so i'll replace all this age should now similarly we will do with the object data type here object data dot should and i will replace this object should everywhere with expect object data dot to okay now similarly we will write for the array data type as well so here array data dot should be okay and similarly we will do for the boolean data type as well bool data dot should to be okay bool data should be a boolean and bool data should be true okay now let me format the code control a control k f now it's formatted now let's run it once again if see if all the should assertion style working as expected so our test case is running for now so here we are getting the cannot read property of undefined reading b okay so what is the problem yep here dot two should not be there okay mm, everything looks good now here we are not imported should so we have to import should as well from chai as well as we have to instantiate should okay so here we have to instantiate should now it should be working fine now let me run it once again yep so now you can see here our expect and should both have been passed and if you go to the official website here you can see here we have to instantiate our should and then this is written in javascript but in type if you are writing in typescript so we have to just instantiate our should over here and then we can use our should assertion style okay but in expect we are not required to instantiate it okay now the third style that we are going to use as assert so here this is the third one assertion so now let's see the example for the assert as well now we will copy this entire section from should and here we will use assert okay we will have keep as it is all of our variables now here first of all we are not required to instantiate here we will remove that and then for the string we have to write in a specific way assert syntax is a bit different from other so let let me show you how we can write it so here assert assert dot and we will import this assert from chai 
so now if you see here on top this assert have been imported now assert dot is okay okay so here we have method for uh, test all of our scenarios so here we have to check undefined as a is okay okay so assert is okay what what we are expecting that assert dot name property should be okay now similarly we have to write for equality to check equality here so here we will write assert dot equal okay and what equal should be uh, name should be equal to kumar name and in the same we have to pass as a kumar that's it and how we how we can check the type here so assert dot type of okay type of name should be equal to string similarly we can write the number as well that i am going to leave up to you you can write it and we can write it for object here one thing we have a different is uh, how we can check the property in object so here in assert we will write type of object that we can write it similarly here assert dot type of object data should be type of object now we can see how we can check the value okay in the property so here we have assert dot deep equal okay and deep equal what we are expecting this object data should be equal to this object right okay now similarly we can write assertion for our array and boolean here i am just assert type of array and array data is type of an array and this array data to be equal to this array data right and we can check if this array data include so assert include this array data it's including value of 2 right and similarly we can write for the boolean data type as well so this bool data type of boolean and assert dot equal bool data is type bool data is having and bool data is equal to true right so this is all the common assertion type that we are using now let me run this npm run test see now if you see our all the test cases from expect should and assert is being passed okay so now i think you guys have been learned about how what are the different type of syntax we have in all the three assertion style you can use any one of them either you can use expect should or you can use assert okay i feel more comfortable with expect so going forward i will be using this expect but if you are comfortable with should you can use should or you can use assert okay i hope that you guys understood about the different type of assertion style in chai so friends in this video we have been covered about different chai assertion style assert expect and should and we have seen what all the common chai assertion that we are using for different data types now in the next video we are going to talk about hook mainly we will cover before after before each and after each hook okay and friends if you are new to this channel then please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos and that's all for the day i'll see you in next video till then take care